Very pretty. Look at you all ready for Christmas. Huh? Hello everybody. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to apply a feather extension in a dog's ear and how to make a festive feather extension for the holidays. I'm going to show you what I use and how I put it in the air. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what you'll need to put in the feather extension. These are crimp beads, and there's different kinds of crimp beads. There's even other kinds than the ones I have here, but these two are the best. Um, this one here on the right, it does not have a silicone like uh, lining in the middle. It's just, just a crimp bead, and these ones, they'll work, but I find sometimes the hair gets uh, stuck in there and it's, it's hard to get them out. So the ones with the silicone, on the inside are the best and these are a little bit bigger as well and they do come in other colors and these this ones I have a tan a brown and a black and you're going to need some uh, crimp pliers these are to squeeze the crimp in and they also take out the crimp and it can cut the ends of the feathers as well so this is like a, a three-in-one kind of tool I'll show you how I'm going to use that when I actually put the feather in and you're going to need a threader. So this is a very, very light tool. It just has this long, like fine little flexible piece of metal. And that's where the hair is gonna go through. The bead goes on here, but I'll be showing you that as well. So this is a threader. And then you're gonna need a hook. This is just like a, a hook that you would use for say, if you're knitting or something and has a little wee hook, they come in different sizes. And the one I'm using is 1.6 millimeters. 1.6 millimeters. And the hook, I'll show you what I use the hook for, but it has a tiny little hook. All right, there's the hook there. It's just a small, very small hook. You're gonna need some scissors and tinsel and tinsel you can get at Christmas time it goes on the tree it's just silver strands and this is what I'm going to put in with my feather it's very inexpensive I think it's around a dollar and there's a lot of strands well there's a thousand strands so it's pretty cheap and it's going to look really nice and shiny all right the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to get my hook the one with a very small hook and I'm going to place my bead over the hook. Now I chose a cream cutter because my dog's a cream cutter. So that's the first step. Then I'm going to get my tinsel and this just pulls out like this. So sparkly. So usually I take about, I don't know, a little bit like, you don't want to take too much because it might not fit through the um, the bead but I take a little bit extra because sometimes it falls out so you want to take what you think you need and I am gonna get a little bit more than that there then you kind of try to make it all like even it doesn't have to be exactly even like that then I'm going to put the tinsel over my finger like this is pretty tight and get my my hook here and just put it underneath and so what I'm trying to do is get the tinsel under this bead so I'm just gonna pull the bead up and the hook actually helps you know to pull out the tinsel then I'm gonna kind of loosen it from one side while I'm holding the other side with my other hand like this See, so now you have the bead in the middle of the tinsel. Like that. Isn't that pretty? Alrighty, so now I'm going to take my threader and I'm going to put it through the bead. Just like that. You can put it all the way to the end. And then I'm going to find a small amount of hair, just a small, like thin piece because you don't want it too thick or the feathers won't fit in. So then you're going to open up your threader, it's very flexible, 
and just pull the hair through that. And now, stay there, buddy. It's where you can't see, but the bead below it, I'm just gonna hold the handle. No, no, stay, 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 stay. And I'm pulling everything up. So I wanted to get that hair out just like that. So hopefully you can understand that because my hands were obviously in the way. And now I get my feathers. I got my red and green. So the red one's bigger. So I'm just sticking it up there in the bead. And the green one is on top of that. There we go. Stay. We're almost there. So now I gotta crimp the stay. I gotta crimp the bead together. So I just squeeze it like this. And now there's a pointy part at the end of the flower. It's gonna you know poke the dog's head. So there is a, a cutting part right here. So I'm just gonna cut that right off. Just make sure it's flush. There. Okay, wait. Wait, and I know we're almost done. So now you can adjust. Some of these will fall out. So I, what I do is I straighten them out. If they fall out, they fall out. Try to get in what I can, or try to keep in what I can. Stay, honey. So you can kind of just move them around. Ah. Gonna get all the hair out of there. There, okay, so now I'm gonna cut the bottom without cutting the hair. Stay honey, stay honey, right there. That a boy. Just like that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Try to make them even. There, is that beautiful? And I just want to show you one other thing. So if you really want to get really festive, you can add more tinsel and you can just stick it to another piece of the hair. And that way it's all shiny and glittery. Let's see what it looks like. Put the bead through the threader. I'm going to find another little piece of hair. Maybe just... I decided it might look good or even above it if there's any hair. No, I'm gonna do right beside it. Come here. Come here, come down here. Hopefully he's still in the camera, yeah. Right, so I'm bringing the hair through the threader, bringing the bead up, stay honey, and pulling the hair out. And just once you get used to this, it's very easy, very quick. Let's see. Oh, so you can, you know, just fix it up and move, move where you want it to. So this one I did a little bit too low because I can actually see the bead, or I can just cover it up, you know, like that, or put that on top. You can add, you know, more feathers or whatever you like. But look at that. Is that beautiful for Christmas? So I hope you like my tutorial. Let me know if you're going to give this a try. If you can find gold, that would be nice too, to put gold and silver together. And uh, you can just, uh, you can put the feather in both ears or just one ear. I like to put it in both. And just so that they look, you know, even. So I want to thank you very much for watching. What a good boy. What a good boy. A good sport. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon. That way you won't miss any of my future videos and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Good boy.